The videos of Taiwan geometry was created by Taiwan artist Evan. Let students learn better. It is the purpose of Evan, and he wants to show Taiwan spirit is different from China. Taiwan is not China. Taiwanese do not pirate. What is a nine-point circle? The French mathematician Poncelet discovered the circle. If we construct the three mediators of the three sides to find the circumcenter of triangle ABC, and we draw the three altitudes of the triangle to find the orthocenter point V, we can find a circle. The circle meet the three sides and the three altitudes of triangle ABC at nine special points. The circle is therefore called a nine-point circle. The length of BX is equal to XV, and VY is equal to YC, and AZ is equal to ZV. But how? How can we construct the nine-point circle? First, let us construct Euler's line TV and find the midpoint P of the Euler line. Now draw three segments at point B perpendicular to the three sides of the triangle ABC. Here we can see a green trapezoid. Since the line segment KP is parallel to DT, segment KP is therefore the midline of the green trapezoid. Thus, the length of DK is equal to KH. After constructing two line segments PD and HP, we will find the two new colored triangles are congruent because of relations side angle side the two pink hypotenuses are therefore equal to each other now let's see another trapezoid since segment pl is the midline of the trapezoid jl is therefore equal to le after constructing two violet line segments PJ and PE, we find the other two color triangles are congruent to each other because of the relation side-angle-side. The two violet hypotenuses are therefore equal. Now, let's see the other blue trapezoid. Since PM is the midline of the trapezoid, obviously FM is equal to MG. After constructing two yellow line segments, PF and PG, we find the other two color triangles are congruent to each other because of the relation side angle side. The two yellow hypotenuses are therefore equal to each other. Now let's erase some line segments. The complicated figure looks clear again. Here we can see a white right triangle. Since the midpoint of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is also the center of the circumcircle. After constructing HE segment, we find a pink isosceles triangle HBE. Therefore, the yellow angle 2 is equal to another yellow angle 2. Now, let us erase the arc of the green circle and the other line segments so that the figure is clear again.
construct the midline DF line segment. Since segment DF is parallel to segment BC and angle 2 is equal to angle ADF, DF is equal to EC and equal to BE and equal to HE. Now, let's watch the white triangle. Since the length of the two pink sides of the triangle are equal. The blue angle 3 is therefore equal to another blue angle 3. Now, let's watch angle 4 and angle 5. Since 180 degrees minus angle 3 and minus angle 2 equals both angle 4 or angle 5, the red triangle is therefore congruent to the green triangle because of the relation side angle side. Thus, PE is equal to PF. After ignoring the unnecessary parts, construct the altitude AJ and PJ segment. We can clearly see the length of the two violet segments and the two yellow segments are equal. Here, we can see a white right triangle again. Since the midpoint of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is also the center of its circumcircle, after constructing DJ line segment, we can clearly see an orange isosceles triangle DBJ. Therefore, the red angle 6 is equal to another red angle 6. Now, let's erase the arc of the green circle and the other line segments so that the whole figure looks clear again. Construct the midline FE of the triangle ABC. Since segment FE is parallel to segment AB and angle 6 is equal to angle FEC. FE is equal to AD and is also equal to DB and also equal to DJ. Now, let's watch the white triangle. Since the length of the two violet sides of the triangle are equal, the blue angle 1 is therefore equal to another blue angle 1. Now, let's watch angle 7 and angle 8. Since 180 degrees minus angle 6 and minus angle 1 equals angle 7 or angle 8, the green triangle is therefore congruent to the yellow triangle because of the relation side angle side. Thus, DP is equal to PF. Now, let's erase unnecessary line segments. We can clearly see four color line segments on the figure. Since PE is equal to FP and equal to DP is also equal to PJ, we can therefore Construct a circle to meet triangle ABC at the six points. Now, let's erase the six radiuses of the circle. The figure looks clear again. Now, draw two altitudes of triangle ABC. We find the two intercepts of the circle and the two altitudes. We remember that the white triangle is a right triangle. Angle 0 plus angle 6 is therefore equal to 90 degrees. The blue triangle is also a right triangle. Angle W plus angle 6 is therefore equal to 90 degrees. Thus, angle 0 is equal to angle W. After constructing EZ segment, 
we can see a white right triangle again. Segment EZ is therefore the diameter of a semicircle. Thus, the white triangle ZHE is a right triangle. We have proved HE is equal to EC and equal to BE. Angle 0 is therefore equal to angle 0. Now, let's watch angle 10. Since the sum of angle 10 and angle 0 is a right angle, angle 6 is therefore equal to angle 10. Now, let's watch the yellow angle W and the blue triangle. Since the sum of angle W and angle 6 is a right angle, angle 0 therefore equals angle W. Angle 6 equals angle HVZ. AZ is therefore equal to ZH and equal to ZV. After erasing some line segments, the figure looks clear again. Now we draw the altitude BG. By the same way above, you prove that BX equals XV and VY is equal to YC. I would like to say that we prove the existence of the nine-point circle.